Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing good today and welcome to the today's video. So on today's video, we will be discussing about something on 10 core differences between AWS Lambda and Google Cloud Functions. So this is very important. So don't skip this video and please do watch out this video fully so that you will be understanding deep about like what is AWS Lambda and what is Google Cloud Functions. And basically both are on same platform it's known as in serverless computing. So don't skip the video. Please do watch out fully. I'm requesting once again. Thank you so much. We'll start the video. So the first point that we're going to discuss about is on supported language. So AWS Lambda supports a wide range of languages than Google Cloud Function. So that's the fact. So basically like Lambda supports Node.js, Python, Java, Ruby, C Sharp, Go and PowerShell. On Google Cloud Function, it supports the Node.js, Python and Go. So what exactly this means? This is if you are developing a serverless application in a language that is not supported by the Google Cloud function, you will need to use AWS Lambda. So that's the fact. Second point is all about like maximum execution time. The Lambda function can run for maximum of 15 minutes and Google Cloud function can run for maximum nine minutes. So this means that is if you need to run a function more than nine minutes, you have to use AWS Lambda. So there is no other option to switch it. Coming to the pricing. So AWS Lambda and Google Cloud functions are both are priced based on the amount of memory used and amount of time on the function runs. So AWS Lambda generally more expensive than Google Cloud Functions. So that's the facts. So this is because like uh, AWS Lambda uh, charges for first 100 milliseconds of execution time, even if the function only runs in a few milliseconds. Google Cloud Function does not charge for the first 100 milliseconds of the execution time. However, AWS Lambda is generally a more expensive than Google Cloud Functions. Deployment. If you look at the deployment perspective, AWS Lambda and Google Cloud Functions are both are easy to deploy. So AWS Lambda has a slight, a simpler deployment process and Google Cloud Functions has a separate deployment process for each language. So this is because like AWS Lambda in a, has a single deployment process for all languages and Google Cloud Function has a separate deployment process for each language. So there is a no uh, advantage of this one. Community. So AWS Lambda has a larger community than Google Cloud Functions. Uh, this means that they are more resource available for learning about and using an AWS Lambda. And on the other end, there are more tutorials, blog posts, and Stack Overflow questions about AWS Lambda than there are about a Google Cloud Function as well. So this is can be make it easier to find help if you are having a trouble with AWS Lambda. Cold starts. So what exactly it means? So basically, cold starts, what it says like when a Lambda function first invoked, it take few milliseconds to start up. So this is called cold start. Then Google Cloud function do not have this kind of feature called cold start. The cold start occurs when Lambda function is not already running. Okay, it's not already running when it first invoked. So in this case, Lambda need to start up the functions container before it can execute the function code. So this is can take few milliseconds, which can be noticeable for latency sensitive applications. Google Cloud Functions, on the other hand, always keeps its function running in the background. So this means that there is no cloud uh, cold start latency when function is invoked. Trigger types. So what it means? So basically like AWS Lambda supports a wide range of trigger types than Google Cloud Functions and Lambda supports HTTP, HTTPS, SQS, SNS, uh, DynamoDB, uh, Kninus and Google Cloud events. On Google Cloud uh, Functions only supports HTTP and HTTPS and trigger is an event that can cause a Lambda function to be invoked. AWS Lambda supports a wide range of trigger than Google Cloud Functions which gives you more flexible in how you can use Lambda functions. Next point, we will be discussing about the concurrency. So concurrency is all about AWS Lambda allows you to set maximum concurrency for your functions. So basically, this means that that the only certain number of functions can be running at the same time. 
Google Cloud function does not have the concurrency limit. The concurrency is the number of functions that can be running on the same time. Setting a maximum concurrency can help you to control the cost of your Lambda functions. The next one that we'll be discussing about something on VPC support. So AWS Lambda supports a VPC which allows you to run a function in a private network and Google Cloud function does not have their VPC. So VPC is a virtual private cloud. So it is a network that is isolated from the public internet and the private internet. So running your Lambda functions in a VPC can help you to improve the security of your applications. So that's the reason it has a VPC supported for AWS Lambda. Logging and monitoring. So AWS Lambda provides a more detailed uh, logging and monitoring than Google Cloud functions. So Lambda provides a logs for each invocation, including input and output and execution time. Google Cloud Functions only provides a logs for start and end of the each invocations. So this is about the logging and monitoring. So finally, here we are just a quick comparison about AWS Lambda and Google Cloud Functions. So basically, it supports AWS Lambda supports Node.js, Python, Java, Ruby, C Sharp, Go, PowerShell, and Google Cloud Functions supports Node.js, Python, and Go. Execution times, it stands at 15 minutes and Google Cloud Functions, it stands at 9 minutes. Pricing based on the memory and time and both the same for Google Cloud Functions as well. So there is no comparison. Deployment is easy. It's common for both the services and the community is large for AWS Lambda and Google Cloud Function. It's very small. The cold start is available at AWS Lambda. It's not available on the Google Cloud Functions. Trigger types. Lambda supports HTTP, HTTPS, SQS, SNS, DynamoDB, KNNS, and CloudWatch events. And Google Cloud Functions, it supports HTTP and HTTPS. Concurrency. Maximum concurrency can be set on AWS Lambda, and there is no concurrency limit on Google Cloud Functions. VPC support, yes, it's available in Lambda. It's not available in Google Cloud Functions. Logging and monitoring. More detailed logging and monitoring is available at Lambda. Less detailed monitoring and logging is available on the Google Cloud Function. Overall, it's a better choice for the developer and Google Cloud functions, uh, functions, it stands for good choice for developer who needs a specific language and longer execution time. So this is the, the comparison between AWS Lambda and Google Cloud functions. I hope you might have enjoyed this particular lecture. We'll see you on another good lecture. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Keep supporting.